Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, 2013. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. In tonight's news, Coffee County's jobless rate could be on the rise. A bomb threat at a Manchester middle school lands a 13-year-old student in hot water and will tell you about a new voter about new voter ID laws and how they are now in effect. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. Let the Smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the Smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. Looking for a unique gift for someone special, or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel, and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and signed sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable for a reason. Hello, my name is Joe Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. I'm here to talk to you about a couple incentives that are going on between now and end of the year. First is your federal tax credit up to $300. Secondly, 0% financing up to 15 months on XL products. Third, spring promotion up to $1,100. Finally, $500 incentives from your local power distributor. Please give us a call at 455-8757. Thank you. They say nothing's guaranteed about the future except death and taxes. Yeesh. Can we get something good on the list? Here's something. If for any reason you're not completely satisfied when you add a charter service, you get your money back. That's right. Try it for 30 days, be completely satisfied, or your money back. At Charter, we've been working to improve our service. Now we guarantee it. Try Charter. It's smarter. Welcome back. Coffee County's jobless rate was slightly higher last month compared to February and could go up even more this spring as layoffs hit the county's largest employer. The State Department of Labor and Workforce Development says Coffee County's unemployment rate was 7.9 percent in March, up by one-tenth of a point from February. The current rate doesn't include jobs that will be lost at Aerospace Testing Alliance, as a Aerospace Testing Alliance trims payroll at Arnold Engineering Development Center by more than 100 workers. The Franklin County unemployment picture brightened slightly last month. The jobless rate fell there from 7.5% in February to 7.2% in March. Grundy County's rate went up from 9.5% in February to 9.6% in March. Unemployment rates released by the state recently are not seasonally adjusted. The statewide rate in March went up by a tenth of a point to 7.9% in March. A 13-year-old student at Westwood Middle School in Manchester faces some serious consequences after she allegedly reported a bomb threat last Wednesday to get out of TCAP exams. The eighth grader reportedly gave Principal Dana Morris a note claiming that, quote, the school was going to be blown up this week, end quote. Sophomore statements of LOL and Ha Ha were also written on the note that the girl claimed she found behind the bleachers in the school's gymnasium. Manchester Police Sergeant Stuart Caldwell interviewed the teenager who said that she wrote the note in an attempt to get out of the standardized tests that are critical to the school's funding from Tennessee. A juvenile petition of filing a false report has been filed against the student. She is in the custody of her parents and has been suspended from school indefinitely. 
The community is invited to the mayor's prayer breakfast Thursday, May the 2nd at 7 a.m. This is the same day as the annual observance of the National Day of Prayer. The mayor's prayer breakfast is being sponsored by Tullahoma Mayor Lane Curley and First Baptist Church and will be held in the church's fellowship hall. There is no charge to attend the, uh, the breakfast and it should conclude by 8 a.m. First Baptist Church is located at 108 East Grundy Street in Tullahoma. Mayor Curley said, quote, I appreciate very much Brother Hester and First Baptist Church members offer to host and sponsor the breakfast. It should be a meaningful time for all, end quote. Organized events for the National Prayer a Day of Prayer will be held in thousands of venues across the country where prayers will be offered for America and its leadership. In Tullahoma, prayers will be led for local, county, state, and federal leaders. According to information provided by the National Day of Prayer Task Force, the National Day of Prayer tradition predates the founding of the United States of America, as evidenced by the Continental Congress's proclamation in 1775, setting aside a day of prayer. In 1952, Congress established an annual day of prayer, and in 1988, that law was amended, designating the National Day of Prayer as the first Thursday in May. The Tennessee General Assembly amended Tennessee's voter photo identification law during its recently concluded legislative session. Amendments sponsored by Senator Bill Ketron and Representative Susan Lynn seek to clarify and strengthen the law that was successfully implemented during the 2012 election cycle. Voters may no longer use IDs issued by other states as acceptable forms of identification when voting in person. This change mirrors similar, similar laws in other states, including Indiana. Indiana's photo ID law may, has been upheld by the U.S. Supreme Court. The amendments also clarify the General Assembly's original intent in passing the law by explicitly excluding IDs issued by counties and municipalities. These changes took effect when the amended law was signed by Governor Bill Haslam this week. Coffee County Administrator of Elections Vernita Davis said, quote, our poll workers will be ready to implement these changes in our next election, end quote. Examples of acceptable forms of identification, whether current or expired, include Tennessee, uh, Tennessee driver's license, U.S. passports, Department of Safety photo uh, cards, U.S. military IDs, and IDs issued by the federal government or the state of Tennessee state government, rather. Voters without one of these forms of identification may obtain free photo IDs for voting at, at the Tennessee Department of Transportation Driver Safety Service Centers. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6 after these messages. Hi, Trim McNabb, Stan McNabb, Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. Right now you can get the 2013 Buick Verano with no money down for just $279 a month. We both purchased our vehicles from Stan McNabb Chevrolet in January. And we could not be happier with the decision to buy them here. Don't forget about the Stan McNabb $500 price match guarantee. We will meet or beat any new car price or give you a check for $500. You can view all our inventory online at stanmcnab.com. And remember, if anyone can, Stan can. Your wife has given you the most precious gift you have, your family. She does so much to make every moment special for you and your children. This Mother's Day, show her your love and appreciation with beautiful jewelry from Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Whether it's with gold and diamonds, pearls or colored gems, remind her of the path you've traveled together. She surprises you in subtle ways every day. Isn't it time you return the favor in a big way? Mark, you've won just about everything there is to win in racing. What's next? I'd like more people to know about ER Extra. The emergency room? At Harton Regional Medical Center? I just want them to get the best care they can get. That just gets me right here, Mark. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to pay him a visit. <laughs> ER Extra at Harton Regional Medical Center. ER Extra. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce held a ribbon cutting last week for the new Builder Supply Plumbing and Electric and Hardware store in the old Hawks Hardware uh, location. John Gray brings us this report. And this is the Builder Supply. This is the ribbon cutting today. And we're going to go see the new Builder Supply Plumbing and Electric division where the old Hawks hardware store used to be. And this is the front of the building where they closed part of the old porch in. New, new times. 
<laughs> there's three to draw. There's a hand to draw to right there. Look at that. Uh, all you need two. All you need two. The two queens to go with three kings right there, and you'd have a full house. That's right. I mean, this store is full to the gills, folks. With everything you need in the hardware, plumbing. And electric supply line. There's Bubba right there. Good morning, my friend. How you doing? Congratulations. All right, this is the ribbon cutting at Builder Supply. And there's all the builders guys right there in the middle. There's Richard. There's Bubba. There's Carl down there, and that's what it's all about. And it's a it's a great bunch of people. On behalf of the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce and the City of Tullahoma, we want to extend a big congratulation to builders in their new adventure on this corner, if you will. So let's cut the ribbon and give them a round of applause. Here we are with the triumphant of Builder Supply right here, Bubba Carl and Jeff, and uh, guys, uh, what about this new operation over here? I guess at least me you don't. Know. <laughs> well, well, you know, Hall Cardware has been here for years and years and years. Now, uh, now they're gone. Builders has come in and bought it. Uh, so we've got a three-way venture here that... Uh, Hey, we want to invite all the customers out to come and see us. We're going to try to keep on what Hawks has started, add some more spice to it that Builders has done. And uh, we got four locations now to go into this one deal here. So if we can't find it here, we can pull it that day. So there's a lot of good things involved here. Come and see us here at Builders Plumbing and Electric and Hardware. Bubba, what about that? You got anything to add? He's about summed it up, but we just want everybody to come out and see what we have to offer, and, uh, see what uh, friendly service we can give. And, uh, come visit us. And Carl. They've said it all. <laughs> That's all. No, enough done. Congratulations, guys. We we'll appreciate what you're doing for the city of Tullahoma and this investment you're making here and keeping the history alive. Good luck. Thank you. Look at here. They've got barbecue. They've got hamburgers. You name it. They've got it over here at the Builder Supply Plumbing and Electric Supply Store. Looking good today. The annual Red Cross Mash Bash is coming up soon. Andrew Todd spoke with Beth Ferguson about the event. I'm joined today with Beth Ferguson. Beth is with the Tennessee Volunteer Region of the Red Cross. And uh, Beth is going to tell us about a wonderful, wonderful annual event coming up. Beth, tell our viewers what we have going on. You know, we're so excited about our fourth annual Mash Bash coming up this Saturday, May 18th. It's going to be held at the historic Jack Daniels Distillery. Begins at 6 p.m. and tickets are available for $40 a piece. Oh, excellent, excellent. And uh, you guys, uh, every year, it's a great, great year out there. Great entertainment. And uh, again, the Red Cross does so much, so much good work. Um, where can people get tickets if they're interested in going to this? Well, they can contact the local Red Cross here at 455-2501. Or you can always log on to American.RedCross slash mash bash for more information and to purchase tickets online as well. Excellent, excellent. And again, I can't stress enough, it's a great time for a great cause. And again, you do so much great work of the Red Cross, so much helping out in the area and all over the nation and all over the world even. So thank you so much. And again, that's May 18th, folks. Uh, and that's at the uh, Jack Daniels, correct? Jack Daniels Distillery, right? And there's also going to be a silent auction, live music by Southern Moss, and barbecue dinner. So it's going to be great. Oh, that's also one of my favorites right Absolutely. there, too, is the barbecue dinner. Well, Beth, we're looking forward to it. Folks, go to it. It's a great time, great cause. Help out the Red Cross. Thanks, Beth. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment.
It's a great day at Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma. Keith Barnett here today to tell you about the 2013 redesigned Ford Fusion. It is the best mid-sized car for the money. It averages 35 miles per gallon. And most of all, folks, it is a five-star safety rated vehicle. These Ford Fusions start out at $19,995 after Ford manufactured rebates and incentives. So come on down to Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma or visit us on the web at russellbarnett.com. Tell them, Clay. My question is, why buy anywhere else? Citizens Tri-County Bank has offices in Tullahoma. And for your banking convenience, offices all across this region. At Citizens Tri-County Bank, we listen when you tell us what you want in banking. So at our beautiful new Tullahoma downtown office at 201 North Jackson Street, enjoy the kids' playroom, home-like fireplace sitting area, drive up 24-7 ATM, ample parking, and lighted and camera monitored drive throughs Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Welcome to Camino Real, home of the area's most authentic Mexican food. Expect quality service in a friendly environment that features the only truly authentic Mexican food in the area. With favorites like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, freshly made guacamole and Mexican rice. All made from scratch using homemade Mexican recipes and only the freshest ingredients. Come and enjoy a meal at Camino Real with the great food, friendly service and warm atmosphere of Old Mexico. A salute to the never wasters, the coupon clippers, switch flippers, one last drop of milk drippers, the thoughtfully thrifty, and the just plain cheap. Charter respects your economic IQ and honors it with a phone service worthy of your ever watchful wallet. Charter Phone, just $19.99 a month for real monthly savings for fabulously frugal folks like you. Switch to Charter Phone and get unlimited local and long distance and 13 calling features with no extra fees like the phone company charges you. Welcome back. How do we bring economic growth to our community? That is the question that many area business owners and citizens are asking. Daryl Brady, Executive Director of the Tullahoma Area Economic Development Corporation, spoke to members of the Business Roundtable last week and addressed many of the key selling points of our community. Let's watch. I want everyone to understand, too, whenever people visit our community in the site selection process, they know more about us than we probably know about ourselves. So many times, I think over the years, uh, used to in the old days, you're selling the community now. It's almost like you're defending your numbers or verifying your numbers to a site selector. So that's an incredibly important process. We have just rolled out a website called thinktelehoma.com. And we chose this branding because one of the things we really like about Tullahoma is it's got a great education system. We've got a lot of uh, outstanding quality educated workforce. And also, it's a community of innovation. It's a community of thinkers. It's a community of engineers who maybe left the base and went and started a business at their home and then they went and formed another business, like Microcraft. So, you know, when we start thinking about that, we want folks to think Tullahoma. Let's talk a little bit about Tullahoma. Education, business, and technology. In a sense, those are the things that we want people to think about when they think of or visit Tullahoma. When, whenever folks come, we've got a community overview, and what you're looking at is the master slides of what we would be showing some folks coming in. Also, we're trying to make the business case of why it's important for your company to locate here. It, at the end of the day, it still has to make good business sense for the company to locate here. It's not just about, well, I've always wanted to live here and the people are friendly. You have to make a business case for it. One of the things that we're really blessed with is our location. As each one of you know, we're between three major markets, Huntsville, Alabama, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Nashville. Transportation to all of those is easily accessible and we have a great location. We're within a, we're, we, we are within a day's drive of 75% of the nation's population. So this is an incredible, incredible number for us to think about. Many of our prospects or potential clients also want to know about flights. Uh, we're blessed to have Nashville and Huntsville, Alabama, and also Chattanooga Airport as well. Also take a look at the uh, stats of where we are as far as cost of living, median, median home cost, and average commute time. Sometimes I think we take some of these for granted, but uh, it's truly a great place to live. 
our airport was recognized by the Tennessee Aeronautics Commission as a winner of the Red Carpet Award. So that speaks volumes to them. It is a it is a airport that serves not only the city of Tallahassee but the region. That's something that we all need to bear in mind. We have, uh, as many of you know, we have about 142 based aircraft out there. But also, we have Vanderbilt Life Flight based out at the airport, which is an asset. And we have a lot of companies using our airport. And these are not just Tullahoma companies as well. We also have uh, MTEC, who flies in frequently with parts and things like that. Uh, Bates over in the county. So we've got a lot of companies using our airport, Home Depot as well. It also serves as a, kind of a host for many of our entertainers who come into Bonnaroo, which I know everyone's familiar with. Rolling Stone recently said that uh, Bonnaroo is the best music festival in the United States. In addition, we learned the other day that it's the second largest music and camping festival in North America. And we'll have more on, from that presentation to the roundtable on Thursday's news. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guest includes South Jackson Civic Center Director Fran Gray, who will tell us about their upcoming events. Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association will tell you about a fishing tournament that they are sponsoring. All that and more on this week's Living. We'll be right back with more news later on 6. The highest standard of integrity delivers stability and honor. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of integrity in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma, come see the paint doctor stat. When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick mart where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any quick mart today and not only save time but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. Welcome back. The Centennial Women's Club held their seventh annual wine tasting fundraiser at Lakewood Golf and Country Club last Thursday. Proceeds from that event go to support Habitat for Humanity and Five Lows for Kids. Let's watch video from that event. And this is the beginning of the Centennial Women's Club's wine tasting fundraiser. It's the fundraiser they have each year. And and I know there'll be a lot of folks around. It'll be a lot of fun. And you can tell right now they're getting set up and they're looking good here. And there's, there's Miss Kathy right there. And there's every kind of wine that you can imagine on these tables out here. And the wine is, uh, they're doing this in conjunction with a liquor locker. And they'll be great fun had tonight at the Centennial Women's Club fundraising wine tasting event. All right, I'm with Diane Rayfield now, and she is the president of the Centennial Women's Club that is having this fundraiser tonight at the Country Club. And Diane, are you looking for a big time tonight? Yes, yes we are. This is our seventh annual wine tasting fundraiser. Um, it will benefit this year the Habitat for Humanity and Five Loaves for Kids. And uh, we're expecting about 150 guests. That's great. And you're standing in front of a bunch of beautiful Door baskets. Prizes. Our club divided into six teams, and each team was responsible for a basket. Uh, plus, we have uh, JP Designs. There's some jewelry. 
and a necklace that's been donated by Woodard's Jewelers. We have auction items. We have uh, paintings that our club did at the Dislocated Artist um, this with, month with at our Becky. April meeting with Becky, exactly. Um, had a wonderful, wonderful time and we're, we're going to do a silent auction with those paintings and that money will go to the Fine Arts Scholarship Program for kids to learn to paint that couldn't afford to do so otherwise. All right, and the room is full. It's exciting in here tonight. This is the Centennial Woman's Club Wine Tasting Fundraiser. for kids, all the money that's raised tonight. All right, folks, now we're Jay and Jeff Dameron with the Liquor Locker, and this is the Centennial Woman's Club fundraising event, Wine Taster. Guys, uh, you supply the, the wine for this deal, huh? We donate the wine, or we, our store donates the wine. Um, all seven of our vendors help out, and um, a lot of the guys are here tonight uh, telling about their wines. And uh, this is the seventh year we've done this event. Um, the fifth for my brother and I, but the uh, first two years Don Jackson did it, and uh, we've just kept it going with the women's club for the past seven years. All right, and what about it, Jeff? Looks like you're having a good night in there tonight. We got a good crowd. We got two uh, two uh, uh, really good charities that we're going to donate, donate the money to. Five loaves for kids Five and Habitat for, for Humanity. Yeah. Those of us in this community appreciate young businessmen and entrepreneurs like you for stepping in. And, and showing what it means to really be a community player and you're to be congratulated for what you do. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. And we'll be right back with your weather forecast after these messages. Stay tuned. The construction sale continues at Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma. Even though the construction process is still going on, Russell Barnett says we have to move them out now. Check out this 2013 Kia Rio, yours today for $15,995. With America's best warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. So remember, Russell Barnett Kia in Tullahoma is the dealer for the people. And my question is, why buy anywhere else? All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Who needs this modern world? I can live just fine out here without the road rage and boy bands. Of course, I might miss my Charter HD with football on ESPN and Walking Dead on AMC. ESPN and AMC. And, well, Shark Week on Discovery HD. But that's all. AMC, ESPN, Discovery, TBS, and Comedy Central HD. But that's it. Except for HBO HD. Charter now has over 100 HD channels and more brilliant HD shows on demand than ever. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1942 at 90 degrees. The record low was in 1969 at 36 degrees. The average high on this day is 74, and the average low is 50. Mostly clear weather in your forecast for this evening with a low of around 59. Partly cloudy weather forecasted for Wednesday with a high of 77 and a low of 58. And mostly sunny weather expected for Thursday with a high of 74 and a low of 59. Jim, I uh, wanted to remind everybody that uh, Coffee County is having its uh, spring games this weekend. Uh, the uh, uh, scrimmage uh, actually tonight going on right now at, uh, at Cardin Gerald Field in uh, Coffee County. Uh, Coffee County is playing Moore County in a scrimmage game this spring. And uh, Friday is the annual red and black game, so it ought to be a lot of fun. Come on out to Cardin Gerald Field, 6 o'clock for both of those, uh, both of those contests. Uh, red and black game is Friday. Cool. Football is in the air. Football is in the air. It's All great. Right. Love it. Let's All do right. it year round. All right. That is our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsletter on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great night.